on the amount of the taxes uh, that you pay. Uh, hence, uh, most of the people uh, who work for a living, uh, of course, they couldn't afford this luxury to go and vote, and of course, they couldn't vote. So it means that over uh, all the uh, maybe one million uh, inhabitants of Paris at uh, this time, uh, maybe uh, there were maybe uh, 5,000 people who were uh, eligible to be elected and maybe 50,000 people who had the right to vote. And I'm, I'm not speaking about me either. Uh, so this created a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, um, anger and, uh, and instability and, uh, in the city. And in February 80, uh, uh, February 1848, uh, uh, somehow it all clashed and, uh, uh, and the monarchy uh, collapsed. All within a few days, um, the king, Louis Philip, was, uh, uh, he had the opportunity or the uh, advice, he could have um, tried to suppress all those uh, manifestations, demonstrations, and and so on, um, he did want to do it, so he resigned and offered his, his uh, son to his son, who refused to take it. And uh, by a complete surprise, uh, the Second uh, Republic uh, was formed. So everybody was attacked spontaneously, uh, just like that. Uh, and in many, in a, uh, but I, I would say in the days just before the just before the uh, um, uh, outbreak of the Second uh, Republic, uh, they offered, uh, they, they needed, they needed some, had some, they were looking for some um, uh, uh, general to take the things in hand and try to, and try to suppress uh, the uh, protests. They were uh, talking about a certain guy named Marshal Pujol, uh, who is uh, renowned uh, for um, uh, conquering uh, North Africa, uh, Morocco, uh, and Algeria. Uh, he was a uh, confirmed criminal of war. Uh, he was the one who invented the, the technique which was called uh, enfumage, which means uh, attacking populations in Algeria who reside, who reside uh, in case uh, in mountains and sets the case in the following fields of the kids. Many families were familiar with such a matter. This is something that today is much more emphasized by the local uh, community for the The more sites uh, in Nigeria, it is a very important uh, factor in, uh, in Nigerians and in uh, uh, history. Of course, it is yeah, I don't think that French children uh, learn this in schools. Maybe we go to another. Yeah, so here we have, uh, in fact, it is, uh, I think it is the little bit, no, it is from uh, 1848. So here we have, um, could we go on that one? No. So let's go. So here we have barricades uh, from 1848. Unfortunately, there is another photo of this very place that was taken from this very angle. Uh, that was taken one day after. Both of them were published in the press. So it is important to know that this photo, in fact, those two, these two pair of photos uh, are considered uh, as the first uh, before and after uh, images or this before and after uh, photography, so this is the before, and uh, we have the, the after, which, uh, which uh, shows the, uh, all those uh, barricades uh, completely uh, dismantled uh, and crushed. So it also means that uh, it, was, uh, uh, it was quite easy to take those barricades, and those barricades that much more than symbolic uh, means, but uh, one thing that it is important to know that you can see that the barricades are, are made by the pavement stones. Uh, so this was something that 
that uh, would happen even in uh, 19, 1958 uh, when the Parisian guy gets angry, he, he's taking the kind of metal stick, he takes out the, the pavement uh, stone and he tries to amass them into uh, some kind of barricade. Uh, uh, I would also say that, uh, as you can see here, the barricades are positioned in, as the French say, and turn up of the clock. It, it is positioned in a kind of almost arbitrary way, uh, fashion in the middle of the street. So uh, there was not much military thinking about those uh, uh, So, um, So this is in 1848. I don't remember if it is June or February. Uh, I think it was in June. In June there was uh, another argument of uh, riots. Uh, which will be very heavy uh, but we are sitting in, in February uh, 48 and let's go to another one yeah, here we can see it from a closed loop so this is a this is an illustration uh, showing the uh, fighting over uh, a barricade and you can see that it is quite shabby uh, in fact, let's go on. And here is the new, our hero, uh, Marshal Bijot. Uh, and Marshal Bijot at that time, in 1848, he was, uh, he, uh, uh, he was retired from, uh, from the job uh, in North Africa. Uh, he had quite serious arguments about how to, how to uh, deal with this uh, colonial uh, situation, um, he, was, he was convinced that the only way to, uh, to maintain the occupation of uh, North Africa would be the army, which means that the French government needs to pay for this uh, luxury of occupying other uh, countries. While all politicians in Paris were thinking that the best thing to do is to set send settlers to uh, North Africa uh, to help them out to, uh, to put up, to put up farms and, and uh, businesses uh, and perhaps gradually, uh, gradually overtake uh, uh, those uh, territories. Hence, uh, if we have this population in place which is conducting them and produce uh, all kinds of agricultural uh, goods and businesses, uh, we don't, we won't need to send money to Algeria. Uh, we can take care of themselves or finance uh, their defense by their own production and uh, work. So he, uh, even though we, we collaborated with this um, set of colonial initiative, so we uh, were responsible for the, um, uh, for some, uh, I think, 100,000 
Uh, drank uh, the idiot of the cholera 
had een kind, uh, uw zoon, die moet ik niet weten. En in feite, maar dat is het tweede beeld. Dit is het tweede beeld. Dit is het tweede beeld. Dit is het tweede beeld. Voor het tweede beeld was het in de 1993. En het was in 
a military uh, uh, railway uh, that uh, uh, surrounded uh, the city. And in fact, uh, the idea of Osman was to take out uh, this uh, previous uh, wall, this, which had no, uh, no use uh, military wise, and uh, transform this into this uh, belt of, uh, of boulevard that we have today. So if we, if we are going to Paris, we will look at uh, boulevard from the middle, boulevard from the left all those boulevards, you know, so it is all, uh, it was all built on the, uh, on this previous uh, wall of, let's say, for uh, the country of all the station and this uh, fortification system, it was, uh, it was uh, uh, dismantled quite many years later, and, uh, and on its uh, path we have today the Boulevard Periphery. So when they did the Boulevard Periphery, they started to uh, uh, dismantle the wall, and they also wanted to say that around this uh, fortification there was this area which was called La Zone, uh, which uh, means the result that you are not to construct the point and it was uh, meant to be a cleared area uh, but very quickly uh, it was settled by, by, by all kinds of people who came from outside the city uh, and it was some kind of uh, slum like uh, that was in, uh, in Mumbai so we have La Zone uh, in Paris and this is the thing until the uh, uh, 1960s uh, we have many um, uh, feature films, uh, so it's, it's a very important uh, aspect of uh, uh, Let's go on to so, uh, so, okay, so this is, uh, I think that the thing that is that uh, the most important, uh, in the same project, of course, to be the speed in all the boulevard that he did, I will take the item, I will take the presentation for you. I think it should be somewhat uh, after. Uh, but this is a very interesting uh, formula that Osman elaborated in order to fulfill the project, or to realize this project. And in fact, uh, the main invention of Osman was the invention of the speculative um, uh, drive uh, of the city, invented the uh, real estate situation. So what do we see? Let's, uh, so in fact, in order to you have, let's say, if you have a slum or even a regular neighborhood and you need to evict those uh, people, those victims, uh, uh, in order to, uh, in order to uh, build a, a boulevard. So, uh, people, uh, he, he put up a system of, uh, of juries. Uh, which were uh, to decide about the uh, reparations uh, that each uh, owner, landowner, will get uh, from uh, from uh, the reparation. So the idea was very simple. Let's say that we have a uh, let's say that we have a coach. Uh, let's call it Q uh, Q zero. Okay, we have a we have a plot. At a certain moment, it it works something. If now we take out the plot and we uh, give you certain compensation, okay, to have certain value, uh, and uh, then we might have another plot nearby. The plot next to him would not get the same compensation. Uh, he would get the compensation with a certain uh, uh, delta which is due to the, uh, to the augmentation of the value uh, of the land during, uh, due to the Islamian uh, project. Now when, we, when this, uh, so this would be, let's say, Q1. Now if uh, this project progress, uh, the third guy, okay, Said, okay, I, I want also to I want also to have uh, the compensation and of course the value will be uh, uh, augmented. So I, I want in my compensation to take uh, to take uh, uh, into 
relation, the um, the um, um, the uh, revaluation of uh, the, the future re revaluation of the land uh, price. So in fact, they, they figured out this uh, formula in which the the e is the delta of uh, all the differences between uh, the two blocks, and as as long as the uh, project progress, it means that uh, the Q, uh, the number of queues or the number of axes uh, would augment uh, um, in the same way. So it means that he created a kind of uh, arithmetic um, uh, uh, column okay, uh, in which uh, uh, it also encouraged the people to, uh, to collaborate uh, with the project. And in fact, it was the first time that uh, uh, a certain model that was uh, already um, uh, tested in the stock market of, of trying to figure out the future uh, gains uh, got, into, got into the city. So, uh, so in fact, he superimposed over the city a whole new uh, kind of uh, economy. The problem was that in order to finance this project, so you buy the Jew and say, okay, now we will get Q2 or Q3 or, I mean, it not a, it depends where, where do you stand in, in, in this project, when and how. Um, the, the jury would say, okay, you need to get your money. Uh, and um, um, also, I would say, uh, so people got very rich. If you know, for example, this is this, this, uh, um, um, novel by uh, Emile Zola, which is called La Curie. I don't know how it is to it to uh, English. It's part of uh, a series of, of novels that he wrote. Uh, about Paris at, at the time, uh, in which he really shows the demonstrates all those, uh, you know, all those magui, French call it, all those kind of sneaky kind of stuff that people were doing, you know, to uh, gain more money and to uh, get rich uh, from their uh, real estate. So this is a very important, uh, I think, a part of the Ocean project is this uh, new economy which starts to make city. Uh, to start to make the city happen. The problem was that uh, uh, the project became more and more uh, expensive because there were all, all kinds of, uh, of um, um, court rules uh, that, uh, <coughs> um, that suggested, or not suggested, that the court on Osman to pay the compensation right away. Uh, at the beginning, he was allowed to, to wait until the development and then they uh, no we said you take the land now we take. Uh, so uh, he got rich all his money and he started to uh, borrow uh, money in all kinds of stock markets uh, mainly in London and in fact after uh, up to uh, 1929 when there was this huge uh, crash in all the stock markets uh, in the world uh, Paris was the most indebted city uh, in the so, um, uh, and, uh, so here you can see the, uh, the project of, uh, uh, of Osman. Uh, it is important to know that this would be probably uh, its flag, uh, its flag uh, project. So this is the Boulevard Sebastopol and this is uh, what we usually call the historical axis of uh, Paris. Uh, along this axis we have here uh, the roof and uh, we have the uh, stock market, we have the market, and we have the uh, hotel de ville. Uh, on the other side, here we have the uh, Ingenieur City, uh, where we have the uh, courthouse, uh, and uh, we have the uh, cathedral. And also, here we have two very important centers, uh, here in the end, here in the end. It was known to joke that every uh, every every place he goes to the Boulevard comes out. Uh, he uh, appointed a, a photographer for the Louvre, uh, Charles Maudin, in order to document uh, the whole process, uh, but also to document the city which is going to vanish. Uh, so it's very it's very interesting, and there are books uh, with the uh, I mean, Uh, this guy is 
doesn't uh, exist anymore. Uh, sometimes also there are all kinds of uh, funky effects which are due to the uh, uh, long exposures. Uh, there are people that come and go and all kinds of shadows that appear, so it is very interesting. Uh, in many cases, uh, art demolition, yeah, it is also uh, uh, nice to remember that uh, uh, Osman himself uh, defined himself as artist, demolition, uh, demolition artist. Uh, so it is also, uh, I think, as, as design, it is something that we already uh, uh, mentioned to our students. Uh, we, of course, we know we know um, more creative television artists such as Bob uh, Mark Clark, uh, but, uh, but this is also a nice exercise. I, have, I, have, I, I did work already with my students uh, trying to work uh, uh, more like Osman or Michelangelo who was carving the, the marble. Uh, as you know, we can, we can do sculptures by, by addition but also by extraction. So uh, the, the, the idea of extraction in the city is something that is uh, even much more uh, sometimes much more uh, stronger or, or apparent uh, than the idea of construction uh, or, or addition. So here are some photos of Montville, uh, La Venue de la Cour de l'Opera. Uh, at the time it was very criticized, uh, this idea of, uh, of those having La Venue de l'Opera, uh, it was said that it declared on the on the language de the de Louvre, uh, de, de de Louvre so, so it, it means that, uh, like in, in some cases, those very uh, monumental avenues or boulevard led to from nowhere to nowhere, or to some kind of arbitrary point, which has not had nothing to do with the real uh, meaning or, or importance of, uh, of the city. But you can see that the degree of of, of words it means that the city for 20 years was completely uh, unbearable. Uh, this is the very time, time of uh, Charles Baudelaire and uh, Le Fleur du Mal. Uh, so there are quite many of his poems that deal with this uh, image of the city that changes all the time uh, in, front, in front of our very eyes. This, uh, this uh, sentiment that uh, I don't know, I, I'm not familiar with my city anymore. I, I, it is a new city. So this is something that might happen uh, in Benjamin right now. It, it happens in Spanji, maybe uh, I heard it happened in, in Varanasi. Yeah. Uh, I can uh, I can see that it happened in Amdabad. Uh, I mean when I knew Amdabad uh, 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 the uh, all, all the all the coastline uh, was inhabited by the sand, the stuff were very uh, kind of uh, Gentle, you know, and, and, uh, and there were many uh, housing, housing over there. So, of course, there are, uh, well, when, when you get when you get the power um, and you employ the offer of the city, you, you, you may uh, be able to, uh, to create very important uh, changes. And of course, this is going to bring the opera joined by Pissarro, affected by Pissarro after the completion. So, this is going to be the end. Yeah, so here we can see also this idea of strategic beautification of the small strategy. So all those, all those uh, uh, concepts were something that uh, um, uh, Osman uh, imposed on the city, this idea that, uh, that the order which is imposed by the, by, by the government, by the uh, power, it is something too that you, you need to see, you should see this, this order. Um, uh, and in many senses, I would claim in my book that. Five Yeah, okay. So, just uh, this is uh, my friend of Bill um, And uh, of Bill Monkey, uh, 1805, 1881. Uh, he was, uh, let's say, when we speak of. Uh, left wing ideology in the 19th century, so we usually speak of uh, the uh, utopian uh, socialism, uh, let's say Saint Simon and, and, and stuff like this. And from the other part, we have uh, uh, Marx and Engels. Uh, uh, Marx is uh, uh, the book uh, of 1848, so this is also the year of the communist manifesto uh, by uh, Marx and Engels. Um, 
in between them, there is a big monkey uh, who was uh, a kind of more anarchist uh, factor in this uh, uh, left wing uh, spectrum. Uh, and uh, in fact, it was even uh, in the 19th century, it was, uh, it was acknowledged as a different. Uh, different uh, branch of the uh, socialist uh, movement. Uh, according to Blanqui, all this, all this uh, argument between utopian and, and Marxist, uh, what would happen after the revolution is completely unnecessary. He said, let's cross the river and then see. The most important is revolution now. Whatever, whatever means, and he kept on trying and trying, uh, organizing uh, groups, uh, attacking police stations, uh, trying to provoke all kinds of uh, revolutions and uprising. Uh, he thought that uh, we, don't need to, we don't need to educate what I asked, like uh, Marx and Engels said, we don't have time for that. After, let's see. Uh, so uh, he was uh, in jail for I think more, the majority of his life he was sitting in jail in various prisons for all kinds of reasons. He was sent a few times to death uh, uh, capital penalty. In the 1860s he was uh, in prison, he managed to escape at a certain moment, but still in prison. Uh, in, yeah. So in prison he uh, wrote a uh, he had a military duty. Of course, he didn't. He couldn't read the, the text of Bourgeois, which uh, disappeared. So uh, he wrote his own um, textbook. It is a much more elaborated uh, text than that of uh, of uh, Bourgeois. And one of the main uh, invention in the uh, text was this uh, new scheme that this is the drawing that he drew. Uh, in fact, it was after him, but the, uh, uh, in my own book uh, I have the original that from the uh, from the manuscript. Uh, so he said, first of all, if you remember the first photo that he said the barricade which are positioned in the middle of the street, so he said this is no good. Uh, and in fact, in the book of Michel, there is also already mentioned to um, to how to take those. Uh, those uh, barricades by uh, getting to the um, to the uh, building in the in the south of the streets and open the streets and carving your way through the uh, through the urban metal. So you take a uh, few uh, guys with a hammer and you just break the wall from one apartment to another, another until you get to the barricade and then from there you can shoot on the people downstairs and hit them all and they so this is probably what, is what happened uh, at the time, and uh, now he said this is no way to to construct barricade. First, to do, we need to do it at the opening of the streets, not in the middle, just in the opening of the streets, in the middle of the streets. And uh, the barricade should should be composed by two um, by two uh, or few elements. Uh, first, you have uh, the first element is the Street inside and this is the outside. So let's say the army of the government is here and here are the people. Uh, so in fact we build a whole a, another uh, we build two, two uh, walls, thick walls from the uh, same uh, 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 stones. Uh, there is a, a slope also this stone here, so this is it is again the artillery and In fact, uh, if there would be some soldiers that we would we run and try to uh, uh, traverse the, the barricade, they would find themselves in the fear. Uh, and it would be, as we call in the Israeli army, a king zone. So uh, you, there would be people uh, on the building uh, around that might throw uh, other pavements or uh, hot water or even. 
shooting on them. So in fact, uh, this is a quite more difficult uh, barricade to make. If you do the barricade in that side of the road and in the other side of the street, so in fact all this area uh, becomes, uh, becomes protected. And if you yourself you start uh, uh, digging holes in the walls between the apartments, so you can in fact you can shoot from the whole neighborhood or the, or the whole pâté de maison or the whole urban block into one, one for the fortified uh, area. I don't know if I wrote another sketch. Yeah, here you can see. So this is a kind of provocation because here we can see the reason Boulevard is in the football. So this is a drawing by the uh, donkey. Uh, so this is Boulevard is in the football. Uh, as I said, it's a flat project of, of, uh, uh, of uh, not very far from Le Grand Croissant, but this uh, large junction. So here we can see the barricades. Okay, so here this is the eastern part of the boulevard. So this is this is our um, our this is his uh, 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 zone. Okay, uh, and you can see that there are uh, all those passages between the apartments. So it is schematics, uh, and in fact he, he uh, just that those simple uh, devices, uh, in fact, uh, enable you to control a whole uh, area. So it is not a factual um, kind of obstacle that we uh, put in the city. Uh, this this uh, device has a much far-reaching uh, kind of ambition to, to control entire areas and to, in fact, transform the whole area into some kind of a uh, camp or, or a basis, yeah, with the mobile. Yeah, so we, um, I, I don't know if we got into those, uh, this, this is quite a complicated story, but uh, in, uh, 19, uh, in 1870, I think October, uh, there was some kind of foolish misunderstanding or provocation or manipulation. Uh, uh, between uh, France and Germany. At the time, Germany was in the Russia. Uh, and um, um, it was um, uh, somehow uh, Napoleon III was tempted uh, to, uh, to declare war on Russia. Uh, it was smashed in no time. Uh, and it was even taken with general and some few uh, dozens of thousands of uh, uh, soldiers. The Russian <coughs> uh, conquered more or the, 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 um, the Russian conquered almost all, 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 the, all France. They, uh, they got to Paris uh, and put Paris under siege for several months. So the situation was quite Strange. From, from one moment, from one, one end, uh, the uh, empire collapsed completely with all these uh, institutions. Uh, there was some kind of um, parliament, not really parliament, but some, some kind of republican powers that were starting to set the first in place, but they were mostly connected with the regime of uh, Napoleon while the citizens of Paris were under siege. So at the time, they decided to constitute themselves for the first, for the first time in history as a political entity. So we had this uh, commune in Paris, which was uh, formed during the, the siege, and uh, gradually, uh, at a certain moment, the Russians got to deal with what was left from the French politicians uh, to organize a, an election and to try to negotiate the, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the surrender of France, uh, the compensation to Russia, all kinds of really um, 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 conditions which were not very.